thrilled to be to have this partnership with NYU Shanghai because of the global reach. This year for the fifth annual New York Wild Film Festival, our theme was Stories of Heroes and Hope. Seeing all these various inspiring films have, have really given me more hope. Capturing these animals on black and white backgrounds and he, all of a sudden he had 500, 1,000, 2,000 portraits of these, the, these animals that you get to make eye contact with and you immediately fall in love with these animals. I think that Jane's message is important. The more people that know about it, the more people are exposed to it, the better. I should say, thank you, thanks Nancy. I'm really honored. So these films really give us an opportunity to um, be educated, to be inspired, but more importantly, to then help protect these last wild places. So I think, you know, NYU Shanghai has really tried to have a focus on environmental studies um, and in particular think about climate change and thinking about the connections we can have um, both to organizations in the United States like uh, the WCS, um, but locally, uh, particularly with groups like Roots and Shoots. And so this has been a great way to sort of bring all those pieces uh, together. I think it's really important to have the Wild Film Festival here in Shanghai because there's a growing an interest in conservation and wildlife in Shanghai and in China. From this video I can understand the, their situation and we know to try to protect them. We, I began to pay more attention to the rare animals. Uh, in the future I really hope to use all my studies and the activities I've been involved with to go into environmental journalism and kind of do similarly what everyone here at the Wild Film Festival is doing. To celebrate the festival, we do a balloon launch every year, and uh, the seeds are put inside these balloons that are biodegradable. They float around Shanghai, and when they finally dissolve, they lay seeds that are native plants to Shanghai.